watching the leaves change to picking out that Halloween costume. Fall brings a lot of fun and excitement for kids and families. But if your allergies aren't talking to you about the fall yet, they will probably start soon. And that actually means a lot of flare flare ups and asthma for children. So here to talk about asthma management right now is pediatric allergist and immunologist from CHKD, Dr. Lauren Smith. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what you're seeing in your office right now. What are the triggers? So certainly this big time, this time of year, we see a lot of kids flaring up their asthma. Um, triggers are anything that cause the asthma to worsen okay. so they can be things like the fall ragweed pollen, which is what we're seeing a lot of right now. Okay. Certainly going back to school, we see an uptick in illnesses and germs as they're back in that situation. And upper respiratory infections can flare their asthma. Um, and then the changes in weather this time of year, going from that nice hot weather to the cold, rainy weather flares a lot of children as well. So those are triggers, environmental triggers of exactly. all kinds. Exactly. So what's the plan then? I know a lot of parents, a lot of times you start to see the beginning of a cold, but when do you actually notice, oh, Oh, wait, we're going to need more than just time to let this pass. Right. So every child who has a known diagnosis of asthma should have an asthma action plan, mm -hmm. either put in place by their family doctor, their pediatrician, or if they see a specialist. Okay. And with that plan, they should know what their yellow zone treatment is, which means when symptoms start to worsen, okay. they should start using their reliever medicine, their albuterol, okay. um, to help alleviate those symptoms. When does it make sense to allergy test a child? Anytime I think, you know, regular medicines aren't working, if their symptoms are worsening to the point where it's interfering with their sleep, their ability to focus in school, flaring their asthma, sure. or certainly if the parents just have concerns, you know, we're absolutely happy to see them and do some allergy testing to help elucidate those triggers. So we're talking during the commercial break. You said absolutely a child can outgrow asthma. Yeah. What is it that changes? Is it is it just uh, hormonal changes? What What's the mechanism in the body? It's hard to say exactly. You know, certainly some very young children have asthma or wheeze due to infections and they can outgrow that with time. Um, you know, potentially their allergies can get better over time. Mm -hmm. If one of the parents has asthma, that's known to be more predictive of the child going on to have asthma okay. throughout their life. Um, but some children do luckily outgrow it, so that's hopeful. And one more question for you. I know a lot of children, a lot of times the magic age is two. You don't want to label anything until they turn two. Right. Why is two the magic age? It just tends to be, you know, young children have small airways. They can get viral infections that can trigger wheezing. And those kids don't always go on to develop asthma. Some of them we call transient wheezers right. or viral induced wheezers. So we try to avoid that label early on in life when we're not sure what's going to happen. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Lauren you Smith from CHKD. Really appreciate it. And don't forget, you have the, all the information that you may have missed on asthma management on 13newsnow.com. Just search CHKD in the query. We'll be right